Okay, today I want to talk to you about modifying your lures, whether it's crankbaits, what have you. Now, today we're going to be doing crankbaits. I have several crankbaits, and a lot of them come out of the package like this. There's there's two trebles, and you got your bait. Same with same with this new bait here. The Maverick has uh, just three hooks on there. This one actually has two hooks, and it does have a feather hook. And what we're going to be doing today is adding a feather to your treble. So whether you buy a package of trebles and, and tie up, it's that little teaser tail that you use with the hackle. And we use also use a, a product called Flashaboo. Now where are you going to find this stuff? It's the Flyboys. They're, they're all into this, this type of stuff. So um, it's, it's ready for us to use as conventional anglers. Now I have vices. I'm into fly tying. So I do have all this stuff, but you could get a, this is a, a high-end type fly vise, which is nice. They have this nice plate here that holds, so this is extremely portable. I can work on it over there. I can work on it over in this station, wherever I want to go. But you can also get one that just has the C-clamp that'll attach right to your table. And they're like, boy, you can get those for 14 bucks. So you're in business pretty quick. Um, the other thing you want to look into, the Fly Guys, like I said, they have it dialed in. That's what they do for a living. And so they've come up with lines. Uh, this, this stuff is gel spun poly. And it's a really super thin line. And what they made it for originally was, if you've ever seen like a, a deer hair bug, that where they build up the head and then they trim it to shape and they're it's a topwater bug. Well, this stuff, when they you wrap it around there and you pull on the string, you know, the, the hair stands up. So this stuff... This is what you want. It's it's high end stuff. Um, Orvis sells it. You know, there's all kinds of places that'll sell that string. So get some of that lined up. Uh, the other thing I would suggest if you're going to start doing this, and it is really easy. It's it's a fun thing for me to do, so I enjoy it. But if you want to add these feathers, trailers to your baits, um, I suggest this. Getting you'll get a, a supply of whatever uh, uh, hackle you want that's going to match with your baits and start with one. So I'll say I got um, th this, this, I wanna, this color, I wanna start with just a limited amount of colors. The fly guys will also tell you, you're like, I wanna tie this color, I wanna tie that color, and you're gonna, like, I'm gonna do all these colors. You're gonna, pretty soon it's just an absolute disaster. So limit yourself to just a few colors, get out a tackle box, um, just a plastic utility box, for where you're gonna keep those after you tie them. So you tie one specific color, say you want six of those, tie six of each as you go along. So that's another, that's a tip. I've, I've had stuff spread out all over and it's a disaster. So you know, keep, keep try to keep your space limited and just stay focused. The other thing is when you first start tying, if you haven't tied before, you know, it's gonna be, it's like anything. It's like if you do a wood carving, you know, you're just gonna get better and better and better at it. So um, just practice, 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 and soon you'll have it you know, dialed in and these things will look like they came right from the factory. So why would you use a teaser tail? Well, I'll tell you why. You, because you can some days catch more fish. I mean, a lot of days, and that's especially true if they're if they're finicky. You know, with the there's finesse fishing, and there's all kinds of there's speed fishing, there's jerk bait fish. You know, jerk bait like snap jigging. While well, snap fishing and being super aggressive, yeah, that's a great tactic, uh, and it works a lot of the times. However, a real skilled angler has the ability to pause the bait and let it sit there, and that is a hard thing to do. Believe it or not, it really is. The, the, the better you are as an angler, uh, the harder it is to, to pause a bait like that. And when you pause a bait, like uh, a suspending crankbait, those baits, that's when this teaser tail is gonna be dynamite because the bait's just sitting there. And a smallmouth or walleye, they're staring at it, they're predators, and they see that little flash, you tiny little flash, they see that feather move. The water is always moving. So if the bait is just sitting there, and they see that little movement, boom. It's, it's lights out. I've seen guys have these, and when the bite's tough, it's the deal. You're gonna outfish the guy. You're gonna outfish your partner. You know, it's just, just hands down the deal. So without further ado, let's get into tying. So I got two crankbaits here. I got a shad wrap, which I'm gonna replace. That, that'll that be good for a, a all white uh, feather teaser, but this new Maverick, whew, Maybe that thing, the Rappala Maverick is dynamite. We're gonna add a feather teaser to that too. And this comes with the BMC Redline hook. So I'm gonna just take that off and replace that one when I get to this bait. Um, on the Shad Wrap, I wanna actually upgrade that 
to the red line hook. So I've taken off the factory hook and I'll replace it with the red line. So that's right here. You can save these and you can add, you can add teaser tails to that treble. We're going to upgrade to the uh, BMC red line hook, which is just a dynamite hook. And when you're dealing with finicky fish, you know, if you if you're like trying if you're pausing and dealing with finicky fish boy sharp hooks and i mean this teaser and sharp hooks i mean it's it's all factors in to catching those fish on those days so upgrade your hooks pay, pay a little extra and get these super premium hooks it's going to be well worth it and the first step here is to take your bobbin i have different bobbins out here with different thread because i'm lazy if you want a different color i can just grab a different color but you can just switch spools it's pretty easy too uh, and then again, you just start the thread, hold on to the, the tag end here, lay it on the hook, and you just start winding forward, wind, winding back. And that's, and you wanna do a little half hitch right there. And that's into place. And then you go back and you clip this tag end. So that's kind of your base. And what that does, that A, a gets you started, get your line hanging on there, but it also serves as a base to hold the material as you go back. But the first thing I do is uh, flash a boo. Just lay those two strands over the treble, facing forward and facing back, and then just give that a few wraps. Four, five. Okay. And work your bobbin. You always want to keep control of your bobbin, and you don't have to have your thread for the new guys out here, so you're like really wrapping. You know, you got real good control just wrapping this back up. Keep that bobbin close to the close to your work here so these now I can take these two after I've tied that on secured that on just fold these two back over one two three four five six and we're gonna leave these long for now we'll trim those up once I get all the feathers and I decide on what feather length I want here so okay so now I have three feathers now one important thing here and you'll notice this is the just how the feathers lay on the chicken so this would be a live chicken, <laughs> how the feathers would lay here, naturally flowing down over the body. When it comes to fishing, you wanna have this up. Okay, so this inside out is what I call it. What that does, when you're pulling that thing through the water, they will collapse, but they naturally have a spring built in to spring back out, so you get that movement, so. I like to lay this on the shank of the hook, just, and that's why you keep this feather long. Don't try to trim it to shape before you put it on the hook. Just keep the whole feather on there. You guys might like them a little longer, shorter, you can just set it up however you want, but there's a natural balance between the size of the bait, size of the hook, and the feather, so. So you just wrap this, get this started. And I, when I start tying, keep that thread all, so if you have the, the front of the, the eyelet, um, space it back a bit, so as you, you get towards the end, if you get product built up, it isn't so critical here, but you want to step back a little bit from the eyelet so you're not tying into the eyelet and then you don't want the product to get too big here either because you'll close the gap of the hook okay so i'm going to trim this here again that's why these scissors are absolutely critical i'd invest in these these surgical type scissors for trimming this so you can get real close and get a nice clip you know to your work and then you can cover that up with thread and it just creates a nice finish so you can clip those i clip them as i go along you can clip them off the end that one so i'm going to go there i'm going to go white again on this side again you want to take the feather this goes um, outward so you get the get the feather so just where i want it perfect and i, I usually put in a half hitch um Again, this thread is amazing. It, once you, it's uh, spun, so if, if I were to pull this apart, it would separate. And what it does when it, when you pull on it, it lays flat. So you're getting, it's not like thread that holds its round, it's laying flat. So you can get away with uh, oh, quite a bit of thread. I'm gonna go back and cover that up. Yep, and I just have one more. Okay, here's another. The final one goes in the, the final spot here. And we're gonna go with uh, chartreuse. Again, keep your bobbin close to your work. Get that started. And then pull on the feather to the same length as the other hackles. It's on there tight. Um, trim tight. 
Boom, got that. Now you're just gonna go back with your thread and cover up any feather that might be showing. That is basically, we're getting there. So what I wanna do, uh, there, there's a, a thing in the fly world called a whip finish. Um, for this general purpose, we'll do a half hitch. You take your finger, put it on the thread, fold the bobbin over, fold it over, and pull that tight. Do that three or four times. That's all you need to do with these. So that's tied on there. I'm gonna cut the, cut the line right there. Okay, so we got the tie. We got all the product tied on there. I gotta go back now and just trim this flashaboo. And I like to have it just a little bit longer, not much, just past the hackle. Just grab all three and trim them. Boom. We got that done. And there, what we do need to do is take this Solares and apply it right to the, the string. And once I do that, I have this, this light here. This is a cool little light, has multiples, but this is the one we want, the old blue light, ultraviolet light. And this stuff reacts with this Solares. So it just takes a dab. This has got a little tension on it, so that's, that's good. It just goes around, absorbs into the thread, and then it's a matter of taking your blue light I'm not kidding you, like in 15 seconds, I think I hold this for 15 seconds. That's probably way overkill. And this thing is absolutely ready to fish. This stuff's amazing. It's pretty slick. And that's all she wrote, you know, with the, boom, you got your teaser right there. On to the next one. So you just keep going. I like to, if I'm sitting down and tying, I get into a rhythm. Once I start tying, I don't know, I'm, I'm should talk to other tires that they're like this. It's like, oh, you know, you want to do it. But once you get into it, you'll, you'll sit down, maybe crank out six in the morning, six in the evening, you know, it's a great winter project to, to build on these things. So just have your simple, you know, keep it simple. You got, you got these, you know, the hackle and you tie, you tie the white and the chartreuse, you know, one day and then move on to the next color, come up with your color patterns that you want. And it's, it's super relaxing as well, but definitely going to be worth it out in the field when those fish are finicky.